adjective. I can talk about different animal groups. Let's watch a documentary on British wildlife. There are a lot of different wild animals in the UK. There are amazing birds like this barn owl with its beautiful feathers, and amphibians like this toad. There are small mammals like weasels, and larger mammals like polecats, stoats, and badgers. The largest British mammals are red deer, and they are quite common. You can see them in many parts of the UK. Luckily, here at the British Wildlife Centre in New Chapel, England, you can see all of these animals, and it's the best place to learn more about British wildlife. This is an otter. Otters are mammals that live on land and in the water. Otters can swim very quickly because they've got a very strong tail and special fur. They usually eat fish, but can also eat small mammals, birds, and reptiles like snakes. This is a snake. Called an adder. It's about 60 centimeters long. Adders are the only poisonous snake in the UK. They can bite, but they can't kill a human. But life in the wild is difficult for some British animals, and many of them need our help. Mammals like hedgehogs are in danger from human activity, such as farming and construction. Red squirrels are very rare in the wild, and they're in danger. This is because there are a lot of grey squirrels from North America, which live in the UK now. These grey squirrels eat all the nuts and fruit, so there isn't any food for the red squirrels. Here at the centre, they can protect the red squirrels in this special place for them. The squirrels can run around, climb the trees, and eat a lot of food. But the red squirrels can't leave, and there aren't any grey squirrels here, so they're safe. The wildlife centre does great work looking after animals like the red squirrels. But the most important thing they do is teach us how we can all protect our animals in the wild. Exercise one. Check the meaning of the words in the box and match them with pictures one to nine. One. Legs. Two. Hair. Three. Wings. Four. Lungs. Five. Fins, six. Backbones, seven. Gills, eight. Scales, nine. Feathers. Then complete the text with the correct words. Exercise two. Read and listen to the text. Check your answers in exercise one. Vertebrates. 
Vertebrates are animals with backbones. The following groups are the different types of vertebrates. Fish. Fish are cold-blooded animals, and they live in water. They have got scales and fins. They haven't got lungs. They have got gills instead. Most fish lay eggs, and they don't look after their babies. Mammals. All mammals are warm-blooded, and they feed their babies milk. Most mammals live on land, for example, humans and dogs. But some mammals, like whales, live in water, but they haven't got gills. They have all got lungs. Most of them have got hair and four legs. Birds. Birds live on land, but some of them look for food in water. They have got feathers, two legs, and two wings. Some birds, like ostriches and kiwis, can't fly. All birds lay eggs, and they feed their young. Amphibians. When amphibians are young, they live in water and they haven't got lungs. When they are adult, they have got lungs and four legs. For example, frogs and toads. They lay their eggs in water, but they don't live in water all the time. Reptiles. Most reptiles live on land. They have got lungs and scales. But not gills. They haven't got any wings or feathers, and they haven't got any hair. All the animals in this group, for example, chameleons and lizards, have got four legs, except for snakes. They are cold-blooded animals, and many of them live in warm places. Exercise three: Read the text again and answer the questions. One, which type of animal doesn't live on land? Fish doesn't live on land. Two, which types of animal have got scales? Fish and reptiles have got scales. Three, which type of animal has got hair? Mammals have got hair. Four. How are snakes different from other reptiles? They haven't got four legs. Five. Which type of animal is different when it's older? Amphibians are different when they are older. Six. Which type of animal feeds its babies milk? Mammals feed their babies milk. Exercise four. Which groups are these animals from? Use the information to classify them. For example, the first animal is crocodile. So let's answer the question. One. Does it feed its babies milk? No. So we go to number two. Has it got feathers and wings? No. Let's go to number three. Has it got fins? No, so we go to number four. Has it got scales? Yes, so a crocodile is a reptile. Now you can try to answer the questions for shark, camel, and eagle, and classify them. Exercise five. Use it. Work in pairs. Think of an animal. Ask and answer the questions in exercise four and your own questions. Guess your partner's animal. That is the end of the lesson. Do like and subscribe to see more lessons like this. Happy learning.